pain here as well and is likely to come back uh, if he's healthy for the Olympics next year in Japan as he starts to wind down an incredible international career. The soul will jump the tip along with Mason Plumley as we get set to go for the final stateside exhibition for Team USA. They're off to Australia tomorrow night. They'll play three exhibition games there, then head to China for the World Cup, which for the U.S. begins on September 1st against the Czech Republic. The soul taps it back. Ricky, Rub Ricky Rubio gathers, and we're off and running here on a Friday night in Anaheim. Ricky Rubio, remember, now a part of the Phoenix Suns roster. And right off the bat, Matt, for all the viewers, just watch the continuity and the chemistry of this Bain team. This team has been together so long and also a lot of cutting and moving without the basketball. Good defense by Donovan Mitchell, and that's what you want from Team USA. Offensive continuity might not be there right away. They're working on that, but defense in the USA should have an advantage, and they got to disrupt the rhythm of Spain. Mitchell couldn't quite walk the tight rope, and it goes back to Spain with four seconds left on the shot clock. It was defense that turned things around for the senior men's national team, the blue team last week. Gasol will take the shot, beats the buzzer, and we have our first points of the game. Marc Gasol on the board, and it's 2-0 Spain. Aaron Fox came into the game after the senior men's national team had fallen behind the select team early last Friday in Las Vegas and really set the tone defensively, and they turned things around with defense providing the offense in transition. And I think Kemba is going to have to set the tone, especially as a point guard playing against Rubio in this setting and throughout this entire USA basketball experience. He's going to be the one on the defensive end as a point guard being able to disrupt. And we know what he can do on the offensive yes. end. He can create his own and get easy buckets for Team USA. Throws the Spanish defense just long enough to make his way in for the layup. And we are tied at two. Goes for the steal there. The U.S. will be very aggressive defensively. Let's watch Kemba. And you can see his ability with the basketball to create shot, get himself an easy, uncontested layup in a half-court situation. It's wonderful and marvelous to watch. He had 14 points and four assists last week. Rubio knocks down the jumper and shows off the touch. And that's one thing Greg Popovich was telling us, that some of these players are different in their national team uniform than what you might see on a nightly basis in the NBA. And Rubio is a good example of that, that he cited. He'll be much more aggressive in terms of the shot as Middleton knocks down the three. Yeah, they're so comfortable. And they've been running offense, and they've been playing with each other. And they know where to get their shots. And then I think for them is they're playing for their country. They're a little bit loose, and they definitely want to come out here and beat Team USA. Rudy Fernandez tried to get it to Gasol. Back come the Americans. Up top, disrupted. Donovan Mitchell went up high to get it. You Chris talk Middleton. about shooting, Matt Weiner, and this is where Chris Middleton, I think, is going to be so important because the reason why is they have some fantastic shooters, but he's one of those guys that can also defend you know, multiple positions anywhere from two through four. So he's going to have to play a lot of minutes. Joe Harris is a fantastic shooter, but Middleton can do it both on both ends, offensively That's and defensively. Rubio. Rubio has his second bucket in three attempts. U.S. will get on a plane tomorrow night out of L.A. and head to Australia. Turn it over here. Come turn on Gomez. Finishes with the left hand. And man, we talk about Rubio's offense, but I think right there you showed that he's disruption of Kimball Walker. He created that turnover. Uh, he got an easy bucket for his teammate. Always been a big steals guy. Got caught there working on the pick and roll with Plumley and Walker. Walker's shot won't go, but he's fouled by Rubio. Matt, when we were getting a chance to spend some time with Greg Popovich, and he talked about coming out in the first five minutes, it's totally different in the NBA. I mean, you get a chance to come out and play. You have 48 minutes. It's only 40 minutes. And usually in big time play, it's a, a playoff series, the best of seven. This is a situation where you got to come out and play quickly and be ready from the start in the first five minutes. And he said he broke down some practices where they were trying to simulate that you had to come out and play hard the first five minutes and not dig yourself a hole. They essentially held five minute scrimmages here yesterday to emphasize that point that you don't have time to make the big comeback. You better come out and play right away. And the Americans clearly have a talent advantage over anybody in the world. Still the only team with all NBA players on the roster, no matter how it shakes out. 
But teams like Spain, teams like Serbia, France, Australia, those guys have played so many games together that there is a built-in chemistry that you can't replicate over a week or two of practice. Robert to his right gives it up to Hernan Gomez and out to the high post for Gasol. Back to Club Bear for three off the back rim. And you talk about passing from Ricky Rubio, and they have a fantastic guy in Marc Gasol from the center spot who also can facilitate. Quick shot for Donovan Mitchell. He knocks down the three. U.S. retakes the lead at 10-8. And to me, that's the evolution of Donovan Mitchell, being able to be a scorer without the basketball. He is fantastic with it in his hands, but now he's playing with a guy in Kimball Walker. Can he be just as dominant of scoring without having the basketball and possessions in his hands? Really going to lean on him during this World Cup run. 36% three-point shooter last year for the Utah Jazz but he averaged just under 24 points a game in his second year in the league. The soul somehow got open, and Mitchell had to foul him to prevent the dunk. That was interesting. communication there defensively. I mean, because he was open for a long time, man. Yeah. <laughs> no one picked him up. I don't know if Team USA was in some kind of a zone. And you see Donovan Mitchell just talking about Donovan Mitchell. I mean, Mark Gasol was standing there for a long time, and I think Pop is saying, yes, we're playing like a matchup zone, but you got to match up with somebody early and not give an easy layup. And totally the big on the floor for the U.S. was caught underneath the rim. Marcus so Marcus Gasol will go to the free throw line. Such a great career he has cobbled together for himself, and now an NBA champion with the Toronto Raptors. Ten-plus years with the Memphis Grizzlies, defensive player of the year back in 2013, and a three-time NBA All-Star, also great international career, a couple of Olympic silver medals in 2008 and 2012, missed the 16 Olympics because of a broken foot. How good was he, Matt, with the Toronto Raptors throughout that one run in the playoffs? And he was acquired, you know, halfway through the season, but boy, did he fit in perfectly with the Raptors. Such a good defensive team, and that may be a little overlooked because of Kawhi's heroics. Walker guarded by Rubio, gives it up, gets it back. Middleton will take it and knock it down. Chris Middleton three pointer. gets it going, two of two from the field. He's hit both threes he's tried, and he has six, quick six points. The U.S. is now three of four from outside the three-point strike. And with basketball, Matt, it comes down to who fits perfectly. And you can see some of those screens that Spain is setting on Team USA. That's going to be a point of emphasis because they really lay into you. And there's from that, Rudy shooting that shot. And there's Kyle Kuzma bringing it up. And there's Chris Middleton. He can flat out shoot it. Three of three for Chris Middleton now. He's got the feeling. And you're hearing the, uh, it's not a boo, it's coos every time he touches the ball. This happened last week in Las Vegas as well. Presumably that trend won't continue in Australia. So he's playing exhibition games there. Gasol hits the deck. Foul off the ball. And totally different in international player for a lot of for these guys from Team USA. You get a chance to kind of work your set way into rhythm, Matt, when you're playing for your team respectively and at the NBA. But now, you know, it's three, four, five minutes spurts. There's not these nine, 10, 11, 12 minute long spurts you will play with Team USA. So you got to come out and make an impact on a game quickly. And a lot of young guys sometimes think it's offensively, but it's more defensively when you start playing an international play. Foul win against Miles Turner. Here's Rubio over Kuzma. And Joe Harris just into the game, comes down with it, gives it up for Donovan Mitchell. Here's Jason Tatum, played very well last week on both ends of the floor. Harris gives it up to Kuz. Good body and ball movement here on this possession. Turner stripped by Rubio, who's always among the league leaders in steals and steal percentage. Very crafty. His instincts on the offensive end as a point guard, but on the defensive end is more impressive because he's always right there. Hernan Gomez can't connect. Kuzma comes away with it. He's pushing. Gives it up for Tatum. Passes on the corner three. Mid-range shot won't go. Flaubert has it. Rubio out to Hernan Gomez now. This was there so good. Mark Gasol at the point, I would say, center spot. Yep. Because then now guys are moving, and he can put the ball on the, on the money. And there's Rubio kicking it out to Mark Gasol. Gasol could do that as well. Kuzma comes down with it one more time and pushes. 
for the U.S. Stripped by Colbert, and Rubio has it. Doesn't have numbers. We'll think about the three. He'll try the three and knock it down. Ricky Rubio is the three. Their first make in six attempts. Fun start here in Anaheim. The U.S. with an early two-point lead. Well, as you probably have heard by now, a big to-do made over a 10-minute scrimmage that took place on the campus of UCLA at the Lakers workout facility on Wednesday, where a group of quote-unquote fringe NBA players and G-leaguers beat members of the U.S. senior men's national team 36 to 17. Coach Popovich called it a good lesson, as Smitty referenced earlier, the FIBA game shorter. Just a 10-minute scrimmage teaches the guys they need to get off to a fast start, and they can't take any game for granted. Now, he called tonight huge as Kuzman just hits the three for Team USA. Smitty, he said that, that this is the challenge that they need before they head abroad. You're so right, Jared. I mean, reason why on all accounts, there's a team with Spain you're looking at. They have size, they have shooting. But more importantly, they have chemistry, continuity, and also they played in international. And also the rules are different. And we're getting to that. And this is a young team with a lot, a lot of experience. Also, everybody's saying they're the B team. And, I, you know, I don't like that for these guys because they're going to come out here and play extremely hard. They're here. They want to be here. And I think for these guys, they got to come out, trust each other, and definitely, like I said before, you're not going to be able to get it all on the offensive end. But definitely on the defensive end, you can get stops. But well, the Americans can keep their turnover total yes. below their three-point make total to be in good shape. And so far, it's five turnovers and four or five from three-point range. A couple of substitutions for Team Spain. Pau Ribas just into the game scene wearing number eight. And during the break, Sergio Yol entered. As did number 22, Xavi Rabaseda. Sergio has been with this national team for so long, and he's been coveted by a lot of NBA teams. Everybody waiting to see him, for him to come over. Don't know if it's going to happen or not, but I've seen him play so much. Yeah. He is a skillful point guard for this uh, Spain team. Well, Greg Popovich told us he would like to see better rebounding from his team. Miles Turner answering that call with the offensive putback there. Yol tried to find Hernan Gomez. Darren Fox comes back, wearing number 20 in blue for the Americans. So fast and makes his own offense out of nothing. You know, he's 6'3", has unbelievable size, but to have the speed with that size for a point guard position and athleticism, and the game has slowed down for him. He's so comfortable. I think he's going to be a difference maker. And there's Sergio with a nice pass. He is really good. That's Willie Hernan Gomez now. No, you're Hernan Gomez. I'm, I'm going Recovery by the hair. Spin. You know, this, Willie has a little bit of touch of blonde yep. in his hair. Joe Harris setting up Turner for the dunk. Nice look for Harris, who's obviously known as a stand-up shooter, but a little playmaking there from number 47, which matches his three-point percentage from last season to lead the NBA. He's really shooting it at 47%. Here's Gill, number 23. He's 31 years of age, second-round pick back in 2009, in part because he can do things like that. Hey, you know, I've watched him play an international play for Spain for a number of years. Um, he's crafty, he's strong, and one thing is he's such a competitor and he's feisty. And then it also have the combination of him and Ricky Rubio at that point guard position. Uh, they can hang with basically everybody in this tournament at that point guard position, Turner. except the Team USA. Turner becoming a factor here early on. Turner a moment ago set up by Joe Harris for the easy two. I like Joe coming off the screen and great bounce pass to Miles Turner. Been able to read the defense and great job by Team USA. Had fantastic spacing on that play. It's not something Joe will be asked to do very often for the Nets with Kyrie Irving in the lineup next season. Safe to say? No, no, not, not, not much. Matt. When you have a guy like Kyrie, and Joe can get off the basketball at all times with Kyrie and just wait to get wide open shots because of the ability of Kyrie to find him. Miles Turner, that was six Lopez. points in five minutes worth of work. Brook Lopez into the game for the United States after re-upping this summer with the Milwaukee Bucks. U.S. up by six here late in the first quarter in Anaheim, California. Here's Yol, has already knocked down one three. Back rims that second one. Harris comes down with the rebound for the U.S. Cross court to Tatum now. Jason Tatum cross over, comes up short on the shot, but 
winds up back in his hands. Here's Lopez. First shot of the night. Man. Drops for the big bell. We've all watched his career, man. I mean, the ability now to just fly out be a three-point shooter, you got to give a testament to him, the work he's put in. And he is confident in knocking down these shots from three-point range. Well, to me, there's not a, a player in the league who better personifies the switch to the three-point game than Brooke Lopez, who hit three threes in his first eight years in the NBA and 433 the last three seasons. Back for 14 from the field and five of six from three-point range. And Smitty, that was a little bit of a concern about this roster. It's a shorter line that the, the FIBA distance is shorter than the NBA distance, but it was a concern about the roster and the way it was constructed. Could this team spread the floor effectively enough against high-level international competition? And based on last Friday and what we've seen so far tonight, the answer is yes. Yeah, and I think the concern was because you don't see a lot of guys that are just knockdown shooters. The reason why I would say is not much of a concern because you have so many guys that can break you down from a one-on-one -on -one standpoint and being able to get your feet set and shoot three-point shots the way they will be able to because of a Fox, because of a Kimball Walker. Uh, having that much time and a shorter line, it will make it a much easier for Team USA. Jason Tatum tried to throw it down. And Little rebus came down very hard. Man, hit his head. He's on the floor still as they battle for that rebound. Tatum was fouled there, but for the moment, the concern is for Powell Rebus. Went up for that rebound and came down very hard on his back and may have hit the back of his head. We'll watch it. Uh, it did not hit the floor. It's a good sign, but yeah, but it did still snap doesn't back. feel good. Yeah. Snap back, and that's you can see. He's trying to tell the referee, I got hit. Yes, you did. Good sign Rebos has the wherewithal to argue. Mm -hmm. And stick in the game, more importantly. You know, and I was, to the today during, we were at the hotel, Matt, and talking to a lot of fans, they were like, what's your concern with Team USA? I'd say my concern would be just the experience and chemistry part. Uh, and they were saying, what, what's some of the things you like about this team? I'd say they have a lot of guys that's energetic, that are in a 6'7", 6'8", 6'9", role that can play multiple positions on both defensively and offensively. And I, have, I said they have some guards in De'Aaron Fox and Kimball Walker that can just get where they want to and put pressure on you defensively. I think the one concern I will have is their bigs being in foul trouble and being able to, I would say, match up against some of the elite bigs, right. you know, from other countries. Tatum nearly got that to go at the buzzer. And the U.S. And obviously, all these guys want to come back healthy for the start of the NBA season. So I understand a lot of what your team works on is the prevention of injuries, trying to preempt things. Absolutely. We work on all the things that we know help to reduce the risk of injury. And we really work with the players on educating them about all the things that they can do proactively. Their recovery is so important. So they work hard. You see them work in preparation for the game, but then they do a lot of work after the game for their recovery so they can be ready for the next one. Dr. Hallahan, the team, the country thanks you for your duties here and enjoy Australia. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to it. There's Dr. Lisa Callahan, Matt. All right, Jared, thanks much. U.S. now has its largest lead of the night at 11, 33-22. Shot nearly 56% in that first quarter, five of eight from three-point range. Turned it over five times. I guess that's just kind of the price of doing business when you're throwing a team together and trying to create chemistry on the fly. And that was the only, I would say, hiccup they had in that first quarter. Defensively, they were fantastic, and I thought offensively they got some easy shot. They took high percentage shots, and but they destroy Spain on, on a glass. I think 14-3. to three. That is right. Plus 11 on rebounds in a quarter. Here's Rebox. Had that hard fall a moment ago. Soft touch on that three-pointer. How Rebus on the board plays his professional ball like so many of these players in the Spanish league, which is widely regarded as the second best league in the world. He plays for Barcelona. Brooke Lopez back in, hands off to his Bucks teammate, Chris Middleton. And back out to Jason Tatum. Middleton has it, goes baseline. Sets up Brown for the dunk. Jalen Brown flying in. And Pop talks about it a lot, you know, 0.5 seconds. Make a decision, make a move. Uh, make something happen for others and team usa is doing a nice job but not ball you know watching no ball stoppage of guys that are just over dribbling right now they're moving it second chance for spain here yull has it the veteran 
Out to Hernan Gomez. Willie is off on the three. Middleton sees Walker ahead of the pack. And an easy two for Kemba Walker. Good vision Kemba by Chris Walker. Middleton. And Kemba's loving this. Him and Donovan Mitchell talking. Donovan's about to check in. And, and they're getting excited about defensively right now. Team USA cutting down the execution of Team Spain. Y'all into the paint. Sets up Rob Seda, who can't connect on the three. And Jalen Brown. Round number 33 of the Boston Celtic brings it up for the Americans. Walker over to Tatum. Quick drive, and he hammers it home. Knew exactly where he wanted to go with it. And Jason Tatum puts a little charge in the Anaheim crowd. He's doing a nice job, Matt, of turning. And as he was younger, sometimes you take that bump and you can't go through contact. He showed it right there that he's getting stronger and decisive on his first step. He is so good because he can create his own, and I like just as well equally. Equally, he can play well without the basketball. Now, Tatum is playing for the first time on the senior men's national team, but he has gold medals at the under-19, under-17, and under-16 levels wearing the red, white, and blue. Also really good last week in the scrimmage when he was 6 of 8, knocked down three threes, and had 17 points in 16 minutes. What I love about him is, man, his, his fundamentals are there at such a young age, his, his high level. And also, you see his size at that small forward position. You know, he's not an elite athlete, but he has the quickness and also a decisive first step to beat guys. Also, with his jump shot, his handles got much better to create his own. Spanish guys right now are thinking, wait a minute, he's not an elite athlete? Um, Just blew past us and dunked on us. Not Come on, Smitty. Not vertically. <laughs> Here's Yol setting up Dio. You know, I, Dio. You know, if I was a referee, I wouldn't have gave him a foul because he had no chance at making that. No ball. chance at all <laughs> making that shot. There's no, that's, it but it was, you know what? No, you know they tell big guys all the time, go hard to the rim, and good things happen. <laughs> he did, Matt, but he had no chance of dunking that one. Ilamane Dio. Born in Senegal, his family settled in Spain when he was a baby and now plays for Basconia in the ACB League, the top league in Spain I mentioned a moment ago. 6'11", 24 years of age. Now 14, and we talked about it, that Team USA, uh, they have 14 players right now. They still have to get down to 12, and question is, do you make the cuts before you take off for Australia? Or do you still take 14 or 13 guys going to Australia, Matt? It's going to be interesting what Team USA and Jerry Colangelo, Greg Popovich, and, and everybody involved decides to do. Well, there are basically two arguments, right? One is that you want to do it tonight after the game, maybe tomorrow morning, and let the two players who aren't going to be involved definitively get on with the rest of their summer, pre pre prepare themselves for camp with their NBA teams, the counter argument is, look at all the players that they have lost over the last few weeks. A couple of injuries away. And you don't want to be stuck in Australia or China and have to make a phone call and hope somebody can scramble to get on the roster. They have up until 48 hours before the first game against the Czech Republic on September 1st to finalize the 12-man roster. And then, as you know, if there's an injury beyond that, you just play on just with 11 or 10 or whatever you have left. Great pass. Great look from Yol. Shabi Rabaseda connects on the back end. And if you're Team USA, you had a big, comfortable lead, but you're still just up 10, and that definitely could change. you got to keep playing with your principles and understand this Spain team will come back, and Donovan Mitchell with a fantastic move and finish. Donovan Mitchell. Diop almost had the answer on the lob. He deserved a foul on that one. Inside to Plumley. Mason Plumley, one of just two players on this U.S. roster with senior men's national team experience. Harrison Barnes is the other. Walker. Man, he is so good. He's one of those guys you do not want to see coming at you full speed because of all his different dribble moves and quickness. He creates space quickly and easily. Walker knocks it down. He's got nine. Donovan Mitchell may have the full of the night so far. And 
The U.S. with a big lead here in the second quarter. Stay right here. Mitchell now two of four with five points. Substitution timeout. Victor Clapper checks in for Spain for Team USA. Harrison Barnes. Harrison Barnes back Harris. in the game for the U.S. Joe Harris is in. Victor Claver re-enters for Spain. Claver, one of the players on this team with NBA experience, three NBA seasons under his belt with with Portland. Spent the rest of his pro career in Spain. I mentioned most of these players spent almost their entire careers in Spain. Diop with the illegal screen, and now we'll take a break. 47-32. Red, white, and blue looking strong on their way out of the country. Cue me. 2,000 gold medalist Steve Smith. Got a nice round of applause from the crowd here in Anaheim. I've uh, been around Team USA since 1989. I played in the Royal University Games in 94. Dream Team 2 in 2000 Olympics, 99 in a qualifying tournament in Puerto Rico. has been fantastic and fun. Served on the board, and I'll get a chance to call some games with you, Matt. So that means I'm getting old. <laughs> I was going to say that, that. That doesn't sound like the highlight of that resume, <laughs> necessarily. <laughs> Kino Colon hits the mid-range jumper for Spain. They're back within 13. What did you find the, the biggest challenges in terms of style of play or rules uh, to the international game, the FIBA game, when you moved from the NBA into those contests? You know, I think rules, it was definitely, um, I wouldn't say it was a rule, but the way internationally they set picks and the way they slid, physicality was fine with me. Uh, that shot doesn't that count. Shot doesn't count no. That zone gave the Team USA a little problem. Uh, and it wasn't really a rule for me, Matt. The basketballs, they were lighter, they were slippier visually because of the, the pattern of the ball with the leather and the white. Uh, it just felt different coming off your hand. There's a, a kind of a myth that the FIBA ball is, is smaller than the NBA ball. That they're not, they are not different sizes, but it does feel different to the touch. It feels lighter. It does feel lighter to me as well, and it, it feels. At once, it feels sort of tackier and sometimes slipper, slipperier mm -hmm. than the NBA ball. Jared? Yeah, Matt, I, I spoke to a couple of players about this yesterday at practice about the feel of the ball, and they said the issue is not necessarily how different it is from the NBA ball. They said this, the batch of balls they received from FIBA, each ball seems to be a bit different. Now, they're hoping once they get to China for the World Cup, each ball will be consistent. But there is parts of it that are a bit slipperier, as you guys were talking about, that they're getting it used to. But none of them have used it as an excuse. That's yeah, just something you got to get used to. It's part of the deal if you're going to play FIBA basketball. You have to play with their basketball. Some other rules is only five fouls and technical fouls. Also call count toward your personal fouls. Yep. The goal big difference tending. is the goaltending rule. And it didn't come and play much, you know, when I played. No. And it, it usually doesn't. It doesn't come into play very often during the games. We'll get into that when we come back. There's a good look at that basketball, and it's going in more often for the Americans tonight. Played the Australian national team twice, and then faced Team Canada before the World Cup begins formally. The first game, September 1st, against Tomas Sadoransky and the Czech Republic. Three more exhibition games here on NBA TV. Are you calling those, Smitty? I'm not. No. I'm are not you, either. Are you? It's a mystery at this point. Somebody will call. <laughs> Seoul couldn't connect on the fadeaway. And a foul on the U.S. USA fouls on 47. Joe Harris. Joe Harris picks it up. You said at the top of the show, it's a marathon of traveling they have going to Australia Saturday. They won't arrive until Monday. Right. And then get a chance to have some practice and play those two exhibition games over there and then off to China. And when it's all said and done, if they make the finals or the semifinals, you're talking about about six weeks out of the summer. And then I think, if I'm not mistaken, right when you come back, it'll be about another week, and they'll start right NBA training camp. Very quick turnaround for most teams for NBA training camp. And, and I think that was a difficult part. To the decisions a lot yep. of players have made this summer to pass on the World Cup. Tatum knocks down the three. It's a 16-point U.S. lead. Biggest of the night so far. And Jason Tatum, now two of seven from the field for eight points. Oh, 
you can see defensively Team USA, I'm very impressed. Uh, there's a lot of help, a lot of communication from a team that hasn't been together long, doing a nice job. Great defensive stand from the U.S. It's a 24-second violation as Clubert wasn't aware of the time trying to drive baseline. Ran out the clock. 2.18 to go here before halftime. Fox back in the game for the U.S. For a lot of NBA players, you know, coming out of college, you've been in the league for a while, you don't play against a lot of zone, and that's sometimes a challenge. Uh, let's see the way Team USA handles, handles this zone from Spain on this possession. And remember in the international game, it's a zone without restrictions. You can stand anywhere you like for as long as you like. Rubio got hit in the face. And they'll call the foul on Jason USA Tatum. On Jason Tatum. Ricky Rubio off to Phoenix next season. For his ninth NBA year. After signing a big deal with the Suns. Three years, $51 million to finally resolve the point guard issue that they've yeah. been facing in the desert for years now. I think it's definitely going to help Devin Booker. Also, new coaching staff, Monty Williams, gets to take over. I think you'll see right away because of Coach Monty Williams, um, his style of coaching and also the way he connects with players and with Ricky Rubio. You'll see a better flow of their games. I just couldn't wrap my mind around the Phoenix Suns for the last two or three years. Who was a point guard, who was scoring, who was a small four. They had a lot of guys playing the same position. I think it'll get a little bit more clear uh, in the next few years with Coach Williams. One of the criticisms you heard of that signing is when, oh, they spent too much for Ricky Rubio, but this was a position that is been undefined and unfilled more or less for going on four years probably in Phoenix. Ricky Rubio is a point guard. That is what he does. He's a playmaker. See what he does defensively. And he will fill that role. They have a scorer in the backcourt. They have a big time scorer. Just didn't get a lot of publicity in Devin Booker because of the Phoenix Suns. We don't see them on national televised games and they're not winning games and making playoffs or even in the playoffs run. But Devin Booker, is one of those guys that I turn on the TV because of his ability to score and make shots. Uh, I loved him playing point guard because it helps his games long term, but I didn't want to see him at that position. Right. Ricky Rubio back to the free throw line now. The youngest player to ever play in the Spanish League, the top league, the ACB. He played at the age of 14 in 2005, long before he ever came to the NBA. He's been playing at a high level. You said 14. Wow. The second, again, it's not official, but probably the second best league in the world at the age of 14. Also has nine medals with the national team. Just over a minute to go. 12-point lead for the U.S. Can't quite shake the Spaniards. Mitchell gets a pick from Turner, glides in and finishes with the right hand. Speed. Right now, Vantage Team USA, Mark Gasol was flat-footed when Donovan Mitchell came at him and had a beautiful finish. Seven points for Donovan Mitchell. Who Greg Popovich identified as an emerging leader on this roster along with Kemba Walker. Here's Rubio. Long two won't go. Harris has the rebound. Kuzma. Gasol got a hand in there, and apparently cleanly as Rubio brings it back for Spain. Rubio will put it up and in. Count the bucket for Ricky Rubio. Productive second quarter for Rubio, who now has 13 and a chance to make it 14. Nice job by him. You can see Donovan Mitchell. They played against each other. When a guy is driving, it's hard to bear the game momentum to stop, especially when it goes into your body. Smart play by Ricky Rubio. Average just under 13 points a game last season with the Utah Jazz. Rubio now 5 of 5 from the line and has 14 points to lead all scorers here. Played well from the start, and he's got his team hanging around down by 11. About seven seconds between game and shot clock here as Donovan Mitchell handles it for the red, white, and blue. Over to Joe Harris. Turn the corner. Gives it up to Turner. 
Another good dish from Joe Harris to set up Turner. Jaime Fernandez comes back the other way. Up to Gasol. Rudy Fernandez, pass Turner up, it won't go. And the U.S. goes to the locker room. Up 54 to 41. Chris Middleton led the Americans with 10 points on a for the Spanish, they will head back to Madrid to play the Dominican Republic on the 22nd, and then they'll play two pre-World Cup games in China, exhibitions against Argentina and Russia before they begin the tournament in Group C. Here's Gasol working on Turner. Good job by Miles Turner, giving up some weight and size, but he stood his ground, was patient, and didn't gamble on the defensive end, just played straight up and stay big. Turner out to Middleton. Turner getting the start here in the third quarter after not starting in the, in the first. See, he got moves, but he didn't go for the little pump fake, which is Mark is real crafty. Stayed big, kept his chest right on Mark, the numbers right on Mark's numbers, and contested without fouling. And obviously his length is a problem. The number one shot blocker in the NBA last season, nearly three a game, 2.7 to be exact for the Indiana Pacers. Mitchell leaks through out to Walker, passed on the three. Two on the shot clock now. And didn't get it off over Hernan Gomez, who kind of laughed about it, had something to say, I think, to Kemba the way back. Kind of messing with each other. 13-point lead right now. If you're a Team USA defensively, you want to come in and take away their execution and just methodically grind this one to a, a bigger lead for Team USA. Rubio turns the corner to set up Gasol, and that is turned away by Turner. Gasol gets it back and connects, but what a great reaction by Miles Turner defensively. Miles did a good job of being able to, one, he was out of position, but quickly a first step on defense to come back and been able to contest that and beautiful pass by Rubio. I like Rubio on the defensive end. He's done a nice job. Been a factor tonight for Team Spain. Here's that block and eventually bucket. You can see he's out of position, but boy, good job by him and he's got to stay in the play. Mark, he's kind of long in the tooth right now a little bit. <laughs> he never moved outside of the paint. He just stayed there and caught it, collected, and put it back in. 34 years of age. Never exactly an explosive type athlete, Marcus Ohl. You say average? Uh, below average. In terms of explosion, I would say below <laughs> average, yes. <laughs> Sergio Yol starting for Spain here in the third quarter. He handles it. Wear number 23. 31-year-old veteran. He's still, I guess, technically property of the Houston Rockets in the NBA. He was a second-round draft pick back in 09. But has consistently decided not to go over to the NBA. He's happy playing where he has played with Real Madrid, Spanish League champs from last season. In his home country, making a good living, playing pro ball. And I would say for the last, I would say 10 years, you've heard talk about how good he is, and I've witnessed it, and you said it best. I think now, not sure if he's still come over now, he's gotten a little bit older, but he's been consistently good for about a decade. Spent 14 years as a pro in the ACB, the Spanish League, 13 of those with Real Madrid. He is pretty well entrenched there. And he said, you know, the NBA will be there for me. I don't know how much longer it will be there for him at 31, but he's had his opportunities and chosen. Oh, the, the NBA will be there. Well, the NBA will be there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how long it will be there for him. <laughs> right. But we have had instances in recent years with guys like Pablo Prigioni, who came over very, very late in his career. We saw Milos Tandosic come over to the L.A. Clippers a couple of seasons ago and never really got into a flow with L.A. He had some injury problems and headed back to Europe. U.S. likely to see Tandosic and the Serbian team at the World Cup. They are the second favorites behind the Americans. And with Nikola Jokic, of course. He's had some success. A little bit. Interesting right now, you know, a lot of times, you know, 
teams are not running their offense, especially in ex exhibitions. Uh, they're just kind of coming out and playing. But if you're Spain, you still have pride. You want to get back in this game, put a little pressure on Team USA, who are up 11 right now. Pop talked about that with us, that for both teams, it's going to be very generic play calling offense. A lot of pick and roll, nothing specific. They're not going to show any out of bounds plays, that sort of thing, because these two teams could very well face each other late in the tournament each other. Perhaps when a medal is on the line. And I'm looking to see if, you know, throughout this game or throughout, you know, their journey and process, how much would Fox and Kimba play together, because that's a lineup. You have two guys that can break you down. And Gomez couldn't connect point blank. Kemba brings it back for the U.S. Plumley has it. Over to Mitchell now. Screen from Plumley. Floater from Mitchell is up and in. Donovan, Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell. Now with nine points on four of seven shooting. Hey, he is so good with body control. Never gets knocked off balance because of his strength. Strong frame at 6-3. Rubio off on the jumper there. Keep an eye on the screen setting. And there's an illegal one by Barnes right on cue. But Pop has talked to us the last couple of weeks about talking to his players about what is acceptable in terms of screen setting on the people level. Because it is different than in the NBA. When for the most part, you really need to be fairly set when you set a screen. Yes. There's some movement allowed at the people level. A lot, man. And if you watch, it, we'll get a chance to see. They seek you out in a national play. They're not set strong. You can see they're kind of like in a constant movement. And sometimes it's hard, and that was a beautiful play by Spain from Rubio in the pass. But you don't know whether to switch or not because the guy is in constant motion, and he's not stopped setting the screen. Right. Pop joked last week he had to learn how to teach an illegal screen. <laughs> For these guys. Hernan Gomez defended by Tatum back out to Rubio, though. Yo, from deep. Sergio feeling it. Well, they're back in this game. Down Absolutely. Eight. See Greg Popovich calling the timeout and a little pep in their step from Team Spain. And I think having Sergio Yule and also Ricky Rubio gives them two guys that can find guys. It's very much a question moving forward. Jared Greenberg has caught up with him. Well, we're going to ask those questions, Matt, as we have Marcus with us. Uh, we want to know first, how are you feeling? How's the calf doing? Feeling great. You know, um, I've been doing my conditioning. I've been doing everything that the training staff asked me to. And every test that they've been putting me through and everything's been exceptional and it's been uh, wonderful. I'm just ready to get back out there. You know, Marcus, it, it feels like it would be easy for you just to say, I got to get ready for the NBA season and go home. What, what has made you stay with this team? Uh, that's not my makeup. You know, so I made a commitment to stay with these guys. You know, I, I, we work together, we, we sweat it, you know, we hurt together. So, you know, I'm in it, and I'm in it, and I'm in it for the long run. How confident are you that you'll be ready to play come the World Cup in a couple weeks in China? 100% confident. You know, and like I said, the Cavs feeling amazing. And, uh, you know, right now, you know, we're just taking it as slow and making sure I'm 100% get back out there. So much has been made of the four members of the Celtics that are here. Is that just cliche talk, or have you guys been able to utilize this time and gain some much-needed chemistry? Uh, we have. We, we, we have used this time to, to the chemistry, but, you know, it's been a – we all been enjoying the journey with these guys that, we you know, we don't get a chance to play with during the NBA season. But to have us four here and to be here with each other and go through this journey with each other is something that's going to help us with the NBA season coming around. Marcus, there was uh, also so much made of that scrimmage against the select team the other day, and obviously you couldn't participate, but we, we were told you were a very vocal leader from the sideline. How – what, what type of leadership style are you trying to show here with Team USA? And, and USA what went down the other day that implored you to be so uh, vocal? Uh, that's just me. This is how I've always been. You know, I'm a leader by example. And, you know, I talk. I, my, I have a, a very high basketball IQ. And, uh, you know, I just try to put my wisdom on these guys and things like that. And, you know, that scrimmage, you know, you know the select team did a good job. You know, and we needed that. You know, they, they showed us something that we were going to get used to. And that's getting our butts kicked and, and have to fight through that adversity. And uh, I love it. Do you think that had a direct impact on how the team is playing tonight? Definitely. We're coming out here. We're trying to play hard. We're trying to be physical. We're trying to be aggressive and assert, and assert ourselves on both ends of the floor. And I think having that game against the select team helped us tremendously. Well, Marcus, best of luck in your rehab. We look forward to seeing you 
on the court in China. Thank you. All right, Matt, Marcus Smart of the Boston Celtics. All right, Jared, thanks very much. Marcus Smart, first team all defense last season. He brings a, an element to this roster that they obviously prioritize, and that's defense. And he brings a physical element, which they could use right now, because we got bodies flying all over the place here while Jared was talking to Marcus. Yeah, get a little physical, and you can see Team USA doing a nice job. The lead was cut down to eight. Now it's back up to 12, and Spain is figuring out if we could just keep playing, put a little pressure on them, get this thing down to maybe five or six. But right now it's blown back up to 12. Kyle Kuzma, five off the bench now. They leave it for Gasol. Can't hit the little five-footer. Tatum comes back, hung up at half court by Yol, who will pick up the foul. Derek White on the floor for the first time tonight. There's a buzz about him in the first week in Las Vegas. One coach told me he thought he was the best guard there in that week. He played for the select team last week. And here he is, having been promoted to the senior men's national team for the moment, trying to make this final 12-man roster. After last week's game, White and Marvin Bagley were both promoted, and then Bagley withdrew to concentrate on the upcoming season. You know, Derek Wright has done such a good job, and you look at his great size for a point guard. In his two seasons, he's averaged 8.5 points, 48%. Um, started a lot of games for the San Antonio Spurs and played well in the playoffs um, versus the Denver, Denver Nuggets. So kudos to him. He's one of those solid players, and I'm telling you, the San Antonio Spurs are going to be pretty good next year. White had a breakout series against the Nuggets, as you mentioned, including a 36-point game three. Seven straight points now for the U.S. Jalen Brown was pretty quiet as a starter last week, but he's producing here off the bench for the U.S. so far tonight. Brown's four or five with nine points. Done a good job, and you know, he has talent. It's just finding out his rhythm on the offensive end. He's one of those guys that can get going, and sometimes, you know, I think he's a little bit unselfish, too unselfish on the offensive end. He kind of lets the game come to him, but I think his talent, he could be a little bit more aggressive because he makes the right plays. Claver affected that shot by Derek White. Here comes Spain. Trailing again by 15. Rudy Fernandez, the venerable one. Over to Ricky Rubio. Try the floater. He's fouled in the, in the act, and we'll go to the free throw line. USA mentioned Fernandez and his history with Team Spain, 213 games with the national team. By comparison, Carmelo Anthony has played the most in U.S. senior men's national team history with 31. <laughs> I mean, Rudy seems like he's been around for like 25 years, huh? <laughs> Rudy's 34. Had some great moments with Spain, including, remember that dunk against Dwight Howard? in the 2008 Olympic gold medal game. There's a look at Rudy. Four years in the NBA, three with Portland, one with Denver. He had a very nice rookie year, averaging double digits, 10.4 points. Um, I thought he was solid. Athletic wing player, first round pick of the Phoenix Suns back in 2007. Rubio will check out as Kino Colon comes in. Colom is the only player on this team who doesn't play in either the Spanish League or the NBA. He plays in Turkey. Mm, little pressure. Pressure, and they got away with it for the moment. White hounded by Colom, nearly lost it. Who his legs did lose it. Colom forces the turnover. It's been a problem tonight for the U.S. That is their 15th compared to only five for the Spaniards. Right defensive now. persistence by Cologne. Cologne doing a nice job. You can see the pressure. Derek Wright, I think the ball a little slippery. <laughs> and also that little physicality pressure he's putting on Derek Wright. Cologne was born in the Principality of Andorra, which is wedged between Spain and France. Population under 80,000. And he was just beaten by Derek White. Derek White on the board for the first time tonight. Good drive from the San Antonio Spurs guard. Derek did a nice job of not playing with the defender and driving it hard. Here's Rebots. Deep two off the back rim. And off Kuzman will stay with Spain. 
can see. That's the one if you're Derek White, you're saying, hey, Brooke Lopez, can you call that one out? Right, yeah. Can you say something? And that's not even a questionable screen. No, that's that a good was NBA a good screen. screen. Yeah. Fernandez for three. Rudy knocks it down. Three-pointer for Rudy Fernandez. His first bucket of the night. Harris off the screen into the paint. And it's knocked away by Willie Hernandez. Hernan Gomez, excuse me. Middleton will come back in for the U.S. Four or five, ten points so far. Also has three assists for the United States. Brooke Lopez in as well. White inbound. Pick up for somebody. Middleton will grab it. Good job defensively from Spain. White into the teeth of that D. Can't quite get that to fall. Out to Cologne. Just over a minute 30 now here in the third quarter and a 12 point game. Cologne. Hernan Gomez. Brooke Lopez defended it well. Brooke showing his size. Nowhere to go for Gomez. Good job of moving it. Good. This is good basketball. Right to Lopez. Good two-man game. Lopez producing on both ends in that sequence. A block on one end and the dunk on the other to make it a 14-point margin. I thought Brooke Lopez had his best defensive season in the NBA last year. Not just blocking shots, although he did that really well as Fernandez starting to heat up here. The veteran with another three-pointer. Spain missed their first five threes. They've hit seven of 13 since. Fernandez thought he had a steal there. He did. Good job. Uh, Derek White, and you see the pass to Brooke Lopez. And Brooke did a nice, I mean, he was so good. And now he's getting a chance to play with his brother Robin next That's year. right. Brooke Lopez became the first player in NBA history Brooke to Lopez. average two made threes and two blocks a game. Last season as a Milwaukee Buck and cashed in this summer with a free agent deal to stick around Milwaukee. Four year, $52 million deal. You know, he, he wasn't a focal point on offense, as, as you know, but he was so huge for all those guys because of the spacing at right. the five position. Key cog for the Milwaukee Bucks and, and the way they played, having their best record. In the NBA last year. Hit 187 threes, most ever by a seven footer. Here's Cologne with White in front of him. Down to Hernan Gomez, disrupted by White. Good activity by White. Good look at Derek, the 25 year old. Amazing story to reach the NBA. First three seasons in Division II at Colorado, Colorado Springs before he transferred to Colorado for a season. And wound up playing for Greg Popovich and the San Antonio Spurs. Cologne wanted the foul, doesn't get it. Shot clock off for the U.S. White was also the only player on this roster who participated in the qualifying round for the U.S., playing with mostly G-leaguers. He played a couple of those 12 games. As Jeff Van Gundy had to cobble together a roster over and over again. Middleton, before the buzzer won't fall, but the U.S. will take a 13-point lead. Make some noise in the Western Conference. Mike Conley and Boyan Bogdanovich give the Jazz now three guys who could have 20 on any given night. Hasn't been the case for a while in Utah. Third quarter underway here after a 17-17 third quarter, fourth quarter underway, I should say. Spain, remember, cut it to eight at 58-50. U.S. has never been able to completely pull away. Rudy Fernandez, a couple of threes in that third quarter. Can't get the shot off there. Good job defensively by Harrison Barnes. And a shot clock violation for Spain. Good job of Chris Middleton and also Harrison Barnes. The versatility, both those guys could switch. that 2-4 pick and roll. Turner to Middleton. Fernandez, guard. Barnes has it. 
Tried the reverse. At the bottom part of the rim, back comes Spain. Kino Colom handles. Into the paint, floater is up and good for Kino Colom. <laughs> Interesting floater. He stopped and no one came and kind of shot it off his wrist. He's two of three, four points now. Commits a foul on the other end. Let's watch this, man. He gets into the lane. Drives it, no one's there. <laughs> he got it, shoots it from the hip. Nice shot. Good, good touch. It's not an easy shot. It looks easy because it's close, but it's not easy. Nope. It's an awkward range. Shoot a floater. As many of you know as a point guard, you got to make that decision, right? You turn the corner, you deal with what's there or not there in that Chris case. Middleton. Middleton answers with the jumper. U.S. lead is 13. Chris Middleton now 5 of 7. He's got 12 points that leads the U.S. USA fouls on 57. Chris Middleton. That's Middleton will pick up the foul first. on the perimeter. It's his second. Five fouls in the FIBA game in a 40-minute game. Wow, Donovan Mitchell is getting through screens extremely well. Good pass. This time Cologne up top, but... Hernan Gomez couldn't connect on the dunk. Middleton in transition, looking for Turner down low. It's disrupted by Oriola, and Pierre Oriola will pick up the foul. Plays his pro ball in Barcelona. I wonder if we're going to see De'Aaron Fox anymore. He hasn't played in a while. I'm still looking for him and Kimba to match up together. Only played six minutes here so far. Made an impact last week, that's for certain. And obviously Pop and his coaching staff is trying to find chemistry, trying to look at a lot of different combinations. He's rotated a lot of guys in and out. Fox put up 12 points, three boards, three assists, three steals, and two blocks in 15 minutes last week. This is the backcourt most expect to see when the World Cup begins in China. Walker and Donovan Mitchell. Walker knocks down the short Kemba little jumper. And Kemba is now 4 of 5 for 11 points. He's done a nice job. He has six assists. Been able to score and not taking a lot of possessions. He's doing a good job defensively. Cologne with a screen from Hernan Gomez. And that was one of the moving variety screens that are allowed in the FIBA game. Mitchell. Do not count the bucket. Foul is on the floor. He is so strong. I mean, Donovan laid wood to the defender, driving at full speed. Watch this. Nice little bump and finish from Donovan Mitchell. The NBA, that might have counted. That would have, for sure. Made his move. He'd begun his move. It'll be a side out here. Kemba with a screen from Turner. Mitchell for three. Got it. Three Donovan and Mitchell. Now with a dozen. He's hit two of three from the great beyond. Fernandez up top. Hernan Gomez over his head. That was nice. Empty catch and finish. He didn't try to dunk that one. From Willie Hernan Gomez. Had to finesse the business end of that alley-oop. Turner's become an active screen setter here. Slipped that one. Campbell went all the way to the rim, but couldn't finish the play. Ricky Rubio, really good in that first half. Pretty quiet so far here in the second. Interesting shot. It is. It is. Three pointer. It's Oriola. Oriola knocking that one down. He's hit it. I think that's his second one. That is his second made three of the night. In fact, he's three of three for eight points. A little zone by Spain trying to change the momentum and rhythm from Team USA. Kemba over to Barnes to the corner for Harris. Spain Great goes close the scouting out. report. They're all over Harris. Gets away from him. Here's Rebos to finish it off for Spain. 
It's been a persistent problem for the U.S. tonight. Points off turnovers. It's been a huge advantage for Team Spain. In fact, in large part, what kept them in this game. And they're back within 11. Smitty and Spanish aren't going away anytime they soon. They're not. Couple more buckets and their confidence is going up higher. Once again, within 11 points now. The U.S. has now given up 24 points on 18 turnovers, Smitty. Yeah, those turnovers is something that, you know, obviously Team USA has to address. Other than that, they have played well, but Spain is staying in this game because of the turnovers. They're back in that zone, and it's yet another turnover on Q. Make it 19 now for the U.S. Still with five minutes to go here in the game. Rubio to Oriolo has knocked down a couple of threes tonight. Ricky Rubio with 16 points. Inside, Oriola is fouled as he gets up the shot. An offensive set for Team Spain. Great and job Oriola by him. Got away. On the weak side, everybody's watching the pick and roll. He just dove USA extremely hard, and cut and without it. Team USA flat-footed, gave up that cut, and Greg Popovich is talking to Donovan Mitchell, putting in Jason Tatum right now. And still a big lead, but it is five minutes and 26 seconds left. A little concern from Team USA. So Oriola to the line, 6'9", 26 years of age, plays for Barcelona professionally. For last season, he averaged just under seven points a game on 50% shooting. He spent his entire 10-year pro career in the Spanish ACB. Number two in the world, Spain. Medals at the last three Olympics, including a bronze in 2016 and silvers in 2012. And 2008, now a 7-0 run here to close the gap. Again, to 11. Harris caught up in the air there and sends it to White. Scouting report by Spain. Do not give him an open yeah, shot. They, they, they find Joe Harris when he finds when the ball makes its way to him. U.S. finds Kyle Kuzma for the bucket. Now it's back to 13. Sol up top, such a great playmaker for Team Spain. Here's Rubio. Drifting to his left, no good because Sol there for the cleanup. Mark just cleaning out space. Ten points on fourth ten for Gasol. Kuzma can't hit there. Pretty big possession right now for Spain on the offensive end. You want to score now. It's four minutes and 31 seconds left. You got to get this to single digits pretty soon. Juan Hernan Gomez has it. Back to Rubio. Five of the shot clock. Rubio out to Gasol. Here's Yol. Sergio Yol knocks down the three. And it is an eight-point lead. Yol, talk, three of five from three-point range. He's got 11. Man, I talk about that offensive possession for Spain. They answered. Right now, if you're at USA, you don't want to get a live ball turnover and give up an easy bucket. Harris. Knocks it down. That's why he's out there. That changes the zone defense tremendously when you have a guy like Joe Harris. You can see the defender had, got sucked in but couldn't get back out to Joe Harris. He's been waiting all night to get one off. That was his first three attempts because they've done such a good job closing out on him. There's White at the rim. He finishes off that play. And the lead is back to 13 with three and a half minutes to go. Such a tough job to be a knockdown three-point shooter. You may have to wait all night long to get an opportunity like Joe Harris just did. We should the night. The U.S. has led by as many as 18, but Spain has cut it to single digits on multiple occasions here in the second half. And now with three and a half to go, trail it by 13. Here's Gasol guarded by Plumley in the post. Turned right into Plumley, no foul call. Rightly so. Just lost the ball. Tatum in the corner now. And it's good. Man, that kid is good. I mean, Jason Tatum. Game is smooth. He got his feet set. And there's Marcus Gasol shooting a three. Answer from Gasol. The U.S. has now matched the last week's total with 11 made threes tonight. Spain is 10 of 22 from three point range. Kemba into the teeth of the Spanish defense to Tatum. Leaves it for Plumley. Oh, Hernan Gomez up over the top of him. And Plumley is fouled before he could flip that ball up over his head.
I mean, just look at Tatum catch this one. Shot pocket. Great rotation. Splash. And Tatum, between last Friday and this Friday, is at 5 of 8 from three-point range. And you saw how well he played in the playoffs the year before. And he was solid this year. Um, it just didn't seem like he got into a rhythm this year. He didn't play bad, but I'm looking forward to Jason Tatum having a big year for the Celtics this year. Well, to be fair, that, that seemed true for most of the Celtics as a franchise last year. Whatever was going on, whether it was a locker room issue or team chemistry issue, something to do with that rotation that Brad Stevens was trying to work out, it just, it just wasn't happening for the Celtics last year. Rubio probing over Lopez. Can't get the banker to fall. 2.20 to go. U.S. up 88-75. Tomorrow night, they get on a plane for the long plane ride to Australia. It's a long ride, man. Beautiful country, though. 20th turnover of the night. A moment ago for the U.S. Here's Yol. Couldn't finish over Lopez. Walker working on Yol. To Lopez, stripped by Hernan Gomez, and he'll get the foul. <laughs> I mean, Matt. Kimmel reminds me of Barry Sanders with a stop the yeah. L football wise and on the basketball court. He's so low, he's the center of gravity, and he's so explosive. Uh, defensively, you, you can't stay in front of him because his jump shot has gotten so uh, easy, shoots it with ease, and now I think he's going to be. More explosive with the Boston Celtics with all the guys that can play. It's time for the best player of the game, sponsored by AT&T. And while we're talking about Kemba Walker, why not him? He's got eight assists to go with his 11 points on four of six shooting. I thought he had a nice floor game. Did a good job of just running the show. You can see six field goals, 11 points, eight assists. And you know he could take over any time offensively, but I think he's doing a nice job of just getting guys involved. And the U.S. as a team is doing exactly what Greg Popovich has been preaching with ball movement. They have 24 assists now on 34 made baskets tonight. And he talked about it. He said he's been trying to get those guys just because they don't know each other well. But chemistry-wise, just be around each other. And it's, it's important outside of basketball. You're just hanging around and you start to gain that trust. I mentioned earlier that Pop told us that Walker and Mitchell have emerged as team leaders. And for this group, which is so young and so inexperienced at the FIBA major competition level, that's going to be an important job for this team. It is. I mean, you'll have some adversity. And then you have the guys that are vocal leaders, lead by example, but also guys that just keeps you going and stay positive. And also not afraid to call out the team, call out themselves when you're not playing well. And just that motivation from players. And you don't always want to hear it from coaches. Brooke Lopez to the line. His first miss from there in three tries. The U.S. is only 9 of 13 from the free throw line. Haven't missed much from the field or the three-point line. So they haven't been to the free throw line a ton. Lopez one of two. It's back to 14. And Brooke has eight on the night. Rubio with 16 for Spain. Gives it up for Gasol. Hand off to Yol. Good ball movement. Good player movement. And Rubio will take the free throw line. Jumper, it won't fall for him. Mitchell comes away with the board. Has been his Achilles heel throughout his career. Ricky Rubio just not a great shooter. No, he's not. I mean, uh, he'll go on spurts like the beginning of the game where he looked comfortable knocking down shots and a nice arch. And then in his second half, he's just been flat. All his shots have been flat. And he had some easy looks in his half. 40% last year with Utah, 31% from three. That was down 4% from his best three-point shooting season, which was 17-18. And career... 32% from three-point range. Does a lot of things well, but he is not an elite shooter. Donovan Mitchell, 5 of 9, 12 points. 
and hits his second free throw attempt of the night. He's got 13, which leads the U.S. at this point. Rubio leads all scores with 16. Spain throws it away. And it's window dressing from yeah, it is. this point on. Very solid outing for Team USA. Tatum, baseline, threw it to a spot. <laughs> Middleton chased it down. Screen from Lopez, they look inside, and the U.S. turns it over for the 20th time tonight. Gasol for three. Marcus Gasol now with 16. Ties Rubio from the team lead. And with 53 seconds and change to go. We've got a timeout on the floor. The U.S. in control. Up yeah, and between Spain and Serbia, and obviously France are good. It, you can go either way, but uh, Serbia is one of those teams that you it, they have extreme talent. I think if you look at Spain, they have talent, but I think they have more chemistry and continuity. Uh, it's going to be interesting. And the Serbian team has more young talent, yes. perhaps, with Jokic and Bogdan Bogdanovic. U.S. putting the finishing touches on Spain here tonight, up by a dozen. The soul got a piece of that. It'll stay with the U.S. The soul's not the only member of this team to win a championship with the Raptors. Their head coach, Sergio Scariolo, is an Italian, but an assistant under Nick Nurse last season. In fact, the Raptors allowed him to lead the team to go coach the Spanish national team during the World Cup qualifying process. Yeah, 28 seconds left. Spain still playing. Gasol, given 19 on the night. Gasol with his third main three. It's a nine point game. Spain out of time here. Rubio goes flying. It's an offensive foul as Ricky Traveled about 20 USA feet on the floor. You can see Jason Tatum. You can see a little push off. Yep. Is that left arm? Ricky wound up on the baseline after all that. Soul. Already hit three threes. Chased off the line that time. Rubio will try it. Air ball. The U.S. can run out the clock. It's a final, USA a lot to like about the U.S. tonight. Defensively, ball movement, shooting as well as for the second straight Friday night. They